I, I call Ralph and I go, <laughs> and, he, and he calls me and goes, <laughs> what did he, he laughed at one thing once, Eric, a sports joke or something. Yeah. That was it. One time he, he laughed. <laughs> Eric never laughed. You're so serious. That's I really good. do wish he would have uh, had sex with... Uh, Might have loosened you up. Yeah, I really do. I, I'm sorry you didn't take advantage of that. But I understand your concern about your parents. But I even think your dad would understand. But that's just me. They're treating you like a baby. You're not. You're a man. It's my opinion. Okay. So, Artie, did you get hit by another baseball or a softball? No, I didn't play. Did you show your dad a photo of Tabitha Stevens? No. Do you want me to send you some pictures you can show your dad? Yeah, I guess so. All he'll, right. he'll agree to it, believe me. All right, me. I'll do that for you. Once he checks out this piece of ass. And show him to your dad. Don't just use him to beat off with. Right. All right. All right, Eric, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now is his new sign off. I, I know. Yeah. Bye, bye for it. now. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric the Midget's on the phone, Gary. We got to uh, do this. What's going yeah. on? Hey, Eric. Good he, morning. He wants Catherine McPhee's phone number because we've got it. Mm. And Gary even called her. And uh, the chick from American Idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize I just said that. What? You when did I say. ever ask for that? We told you we could get it for you. Oh. Did we, do you have that little that. tape? Our preview page, too. Are you ready to come in your pants, Eric? Get ready. Here you go. Wait. Give me one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something here for you to beat off to. With your uh, midget penis. <laughs> Hold on a second. Where is that? Where is that, Gary? Oh, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Ow. Ow. Are you excited, Eric? Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. We decided we're not giving. Hey, do you think you can give out her number to him? Why not? I, yeah, I, I, I could. I could give it to him. He's got, but he's got to do something for it. Yeah. You gotta slap your midget penis against the phone. Oh, uh. Alright, I tell you what, I'll make it easy for you. You gotta measure your penis. You gotta measure it. <laughs> I, I turned off all the lights and everything. I don't have any. Wait, oh. You turned off all your lights to talk to Howard? <laughs> oh, it's three, almost four in the morning here. After I got off the phone, I was gonna go to sleep. We got to have something in return for giving you the number. We can't just give it out. And don't, by the way, when we, if you do get her number, don't like call her every three seconds. And don't tell her we gave it to you. Right. Yeah, that's the rules. I know. I won't do that. All right. I call her and maybe leave a message. What are you don't... gonna say to Catherine <laughs> McPhee? Yeah. What are you gonna say? Just let's go over this so I don't get in trouble. Hi, Catherine. This is. Eric, I'm a big fan of... Click! Better say Eric. Well, let him go. All right, so far i got no problem with this. Go ahead. I'm a big fan of yours. I hope you win American Idol on or this week. Good luck. you got to tell her you'll be voting for her. Wait, don't you have to explain to her who you are and, you know, what the show means yeah, to you? No, you're... no, no, no. But don't say anything about that you're a friend of Howard Stern or anything. Okay, but how would I explain who I was without mentioning... Because then she's going to know I gave you the phone number. I know, but without mentioning the show. Well, I just say, I'm, uh, my name is... Uh, yeah, th forget the show. Say Jay Leno gave it to you. You're a regular on Jay Leno. All right, throw <laughs> Jay Leno under the bus, okay? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Who cares? It throws everybody else under the bus. Don't look at it that way, Eric. Yeah. I, just don't bring up my name, I, you know, because then I look like an ass. All right. Yeah, when the police come, don't say we give you the number. You wanted, you know what you ought to tell her? Tell her you can deliver Cali California with the vote. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hello. Well, you're on some, you're like on MySpace, right? And you could get everybody to vote for yeah. her, your fan base. No, no, he's got to go like this. Hello, Hello, Catherine. Oh, my friend. My name is Eric. I'm calling you because I control, I'm one of the guys in control of the California vote for American Idol. I just want you to know. I hold a block of voters. I hold a block of voters of over of over four million people. That's how you bring in our show. So is Eric, Eric, are you going for Catherine or Travis? Who's your pick? Uh, 
Taylor. Well, Travis, there was no one named Travis. Taylor, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, who's Travis? I don't know. They're all the same. Taylor. Name. No, I'm going for Catherine. You haven't even seen the performances yet. Well, I want... One reason I want Catherine is because I think Taylor's whole soul pitch whole thing would get annoying after a while. It is annoying. <laughs> you got a ruler there? You got a ruler in your apartment. You got some measuring device. And you got a light. Yeah. You can't use the excuse the lights are out. I can't measure my penis. <laughs> what was there, an earthquake? Let's just go over this again. You're going to say, look, you control a block of 4 million voters through connections in the media, okay? You don't even, uh -huh. have, to, you don't even have to mention Leno. And you can deliver them to her. What are you going to ask for her? And just say, you know, I'm letting you know that I'm going to do this for you, but remember the name Eric. Oh, you, you got to have something like I want a personal, uh, no. uh, I want a meeting or... I want to take a meeting with you. Yeah, did, you could tell that you, you took a meeting with Carrie Underwood, right? Backstage at that concert that time? Right. Tell her you're just looking for a meeting. Yeah, I could, I could see it. You know, I got the chance to meet Carrie Underwood last year on the American Idol tour. I was hoping to be able to get to meet her on this. Tour. Yeah, but you gave Carrie uh, Underwood your block of votes, and look what happened to her. Yeah. So you backed her, and look what happened. Right. But don't bring up my name that I gave you the phone number. Oh, no, no, no. Right. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> See you. how nice he got? He's all nice now. Oh, he's a well, sweetheart. The only thing... Uh, here, wait, let me give him another shot of this. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Mm. <laughs> wow, that sounds odd. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is there more to that message? Yes, yeah. there is. <laughs> Very much more. She just called up and said her name, Eric. But I'm just giving you the... The key. No. Let me see here. What are you doing? He's getting his ruler out. I'm getting out my co-tractor. <laughs> Taking out my cock. <laughs> Let me see here. Co-tangent, co-sine. <laughs> you, you got a ruler there? Hang on. All right. I'll give you this one more time in case you mm -hmm. get nervous. I don't have a ruler, but would a straw work? A straw. I don't know. A straw. <laughs> how, how, how many? A map? <laughs> Pretty long. Yeah, but 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 how many inches is a straw? You know what I mean? I want to know inches. Say about a foot. I'll oh, get out of here. The, the straw's, straw's a foot. A foot? That's a long straw. I thought he was saying his penis was a foot. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh Christ. Well, I tell you what, you get a hold of a ruler and call me back. All right. This straw's about eight or nine inches. Yeah, but I need an exact measurement. And not from your balls. From your shaft. Okay. I'll try to find something, I'll call you back. Dude. All right. What is it, Gary? This is bullshit. You should have to, listen... He's got all the digital cameras and computers and everything. Just take a picture of it and oh, email it to us. I don't want a picture of it. Oh, no, no, we won't, we won't post That's it. That's gay. But I'm not doing that. There's no way you're eight inches. Give me a break. He didn't say he was eight oh, inches. Th I think one of the guys said he said he was eight inches. He's going to measure it. He's going to go get a ruler, and then he's going to call us back. You know? Right. I mean, it's the only way you're going to know. Get a tape measure, too. Don't we want to know girth? <laughs> do you have a friend with an eight-inch cock? You could, you know, do a stunt thing with us? I'm not doing that. <clears throat> All right, just go get a go get a ruler. That's not a hard task, and we're going to do a measurement here. And then call me back as soon as you have the ruler. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Eric the midget going to measure his penis. For Catherine McPhee's phone number. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. <laughs> but Pharrell and um, Shuli were busting Eric the midget's balls the other night on the air. Did you Did hear they that? Have him on. Uh, no, what they did was, uh, yeah, well, Pharrell had him on the phone, and then um, Shuli does this voice, Derek the Midget. Oh. And he was trying to engage Eric the Midget in, in a conversation. Yeah, but it's impossible. I'll, I'll play a clip from there. I want to bring in uh, Derek the Midget. Go ahead, Derek. Hello, Pharrell. Oh, hey, what's up, Derek the Midget? <laughs> Hello, Eric. Oh, I've been meaning to speak to you for quite some time now. Okay. Turns 
turns out you stole my spot on the Howard Stern Show. What do you think of that, Eric? I got oh. some guy, Derek the Midget, saying that Eric the Midget stole his gig. I was supposed to be the only midget on the show. Well, then you'd have to take that up with Beetlejuice as well. He's a little person. Let me tell you something, pal. I have more talent in my wheelchair joystick than you have in your midget body. What do you think of that? <laughs> Don't do I, I, I got a proposition, me and you, in a battle box fight in an octagon. <laughs> so, come on, sizzle neck. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. What did he call him, sizzle neck? What's up with that? I mean, Derek, I mean, he just insulted him, Eric. You don't need this either, do you? No. I mean, if I see you, I'll roll over you like a speed bump. <laughs> hey, Derek, it sounds like you get a lot of pussy. I got it falling out of my chair. I got so much pussy. Eric, come on, man. Defend yourself. He has nothing to say. I don't really know what to say in response to this guy. That's because I own you. You are my midget bitch. Except if he wants my spot in the whack pack, he could take it, because I never wanted to be in there in the first place. Yeah, you never wanted to be in there in the first place. You didn't need any of these shenanigans. It's all a bunch of bullshit to you, Eric. <laughs> I bet I could stick my finger farther up my ass than you can yours. <laughs> uh, I'm not the one that would try that, so... Would you try a Coke bottle? No. Nope. Uh damn. Blunts, what about you? Would you... Would you try... Oh, I just lost Derek the Midget. Do you think he'll call back? Hold on. Hey, uh, Blunts, would you stick a Coke bottle up your ass? What? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone... But uh, Derek the Midget was fighting with Eric the Midget. Yeah. Everyone's shoving something up their ass. Yeah. There was a lot of gay s discussion down there. <laughs> oh, man. So is Shuli like a regular on Pharrell's show now? And he's on a lot. I don't know if he's a regular. That's a good... Pharrell's vibing with Shuli. I think there's something going on there. It's a good gig. Yeah. I think there's some sort of chemistry thing going on. Shuli with Derek the Midget, his new character. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Hello, Eric. Good morning. Eric, uh, last time you said, when we asked the measurement, you said eight inches. We want to make it clear, don't measure you. We want your dick measured. Yeah. You measure your waist, it will be a hundred inches. Nice. <laughs> He's giving me fat jokes back. Uh, let's uh, see. I'll accept that. I was looking for my... Hi, Gary, where is my Catherine McPhee message? Ugh. I can't find a damn thing. Gary? Yeah. I need a co-pilot sitting next to me. It's he can't even find it. No, you need four guys. It's preview page two. Preview page two. Thank you. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Eric wants Catherine McPhee's phone number real bad. All he's got to do is measure his midget penis for me, and then it says, "What'd you do? You went out and got a ruler?" Yes. Yeah. Where'd you get a ruler that, at that time of night in California? There actually was one in an art drawer that I have. You're an artist? Yeah, I, I do drawings. <laughs> now, are you sitting there with your pants off? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Well, I'm trusting you to be honest. Yeah. You're a painter, Eric. No, I just draw. Mm. All right. Your new name could have been Tiny Curtis. Are right, you ready? Yes. Turn off your radio. It's it's off. No, it's not. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Oh, hang on. I gotta go. Oh, mine doesn't come with a remote. <laughs> he needs the remote more than anybody. Jesus, that's almost cruel not giving him a remote. Now describe what's going on there. You're in a you're in your wheelchair, right? Yeah. 
And you're nude? <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> God. It's crazy. Ugh. No underpants, nothing. Well, shirt's on, that's it. All right. And where do you, He's wh sitting there in a shirt with no bottoms? Right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and what about your ruler? Where is that? I got it. All right. Is it a 12-inch ruler? <laughs> Actually, the ruler is 14. It's up my ass. <laughs> you got a ruler that's 14 inches long? Yeah. All right. Where did you find that? <laughs> Won't your chair get stinky if you're naked? No, I got out of the chair. Where are you? On the bed. My ass is in the air. So you're, so you're laying on the bed nude on your back? Yeah. All right. I just want a picture of this. And you're fully aroused? Yes. Really? Yeah. You I'm, did that for the measuring? How'd that happen? I just thought of some things. Who'd you think about? Various different women. Who's in the catalog? And who do you? Who's your number one go-to thinking about a girl if you're going to jack it off? Um, this one female on the internet. <laughs> Cindy Margulis. No. She's lame. <laughs> Most downloaded my ass. <laughs> you're Not naked. By me. You're naked. You got a ruler out, and you're thinking about. A girl on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Hold it. Derek the Midget's on the phone. He wants to yell at you. Yes, Derek. Why don't you think of Ryan Seacrest, you faggot? <laughs> <laughs> What's longer, the joystick on your chair or your penis? Why don't you get a life and get off the phone? By the way, for those of you who don't know, this is Derek the Midget, who claims that he was the original midget on the show and feels Eric has stolen his thunder. That's right. I had a shirt that said Derek the Astronaut long before Eric showed up. <laughs> he screwed me, and I will find my revenge. Well, here. Derek, we're going to measure Eric's penis right now, and you're kind of doing a buzzkill thing. All right. Sorry. All right. Now, Eric? Yes? Are you ready to measure? Yeah. All right, go ahead. It's, uh... Be honest. From your shaft, not from your balls. I know. All right. I remember what you told me. All right. Five inches. You're five inches. Yes. Fully aroused. Yes. Wow. Maybe somewhere a little over. Dude. Dude. Swear in your mother's life you're really measuring. Yeah. Say it. I swear on my mother's life I really measured. Wow. And you're somewhat of a celebrity. You could be getting like Billy Barty type pussy, man. <laughs> I'm the Tommy Lee. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Go on, get laid. <laughs> you're a Tommy Wee. <laughs> I got to tell you, Eric, proportionally, that's not too bad. Five inches. That's about a third of his height, isn't it? Yeah, it's a third of your body weight. <laughs> I think I'm five inches. Yeah, I ain't much more than that. <laughs> if I'm you six... never want to get a woman off, that's a great size to be. <laughs> <laughs> Derek the Midget, what are you? What size are you? I'm uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half inches? Oh, that hurts. Total height, not my penis. Oh. Wow, five inches, Eric the Midget. I'm shocked, Eric. Well, going by the theory that every guy doubles it, it's two and a half. Are you pushing down on the ruler? Like, are you, like, trying to make that base bigger? No. All right. Is the ruler in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> is it at the taint or is it the ball? Mm -hmm. I was born without a taint. <laughs> it's a rare condition. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, thank you, Der Eric. Hold the line for a second. Eric gets the number, huh? Derek, thank you. Thank you. Eric, I'm going to give you her number. Okay. Thank you. Here's if Eric the Midget was banging Tabitha Stevens. Not that quick again. Hold on. I need to start my power chair. Oh, hi, Eric. 
Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. No foul language. This is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh bagage. They're man pants. I had them short. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. <laughs> oh, your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been dead ten years ago and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First, I want you to piss on me. Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. <laughs> In my face, with my mouth open. Here I go. Uh, oh, no, you stupid bitch. You got it on my power chair. You're shorting out my power. What do you think of that, Art? Wow. Can't stand that. You hate that? Mm-hmm. That's a great impression, you have to admit, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to admit anything. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Well, you're going to get uh, Catherine McPhee's phone number, but just do me a favor. Don't tell her it came from me, okay? I know. I won't do that. All right. Congratulations on your five inches. Oh. Are you going to play the rest of the message? No, 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 no. That's private. You go you, you go do your own thing. I'm going to give you the number. Okay. Report back to us, okay? Mm-hmm. Hold on. You know he wanted Catherine McPhee's phone number real bad if he was willing to measure his penis. Yeah, he usually doesn't participate in any of this. Hmm? Do you believe he was uh, accurate and honest with mm-hmm. the five inches? He did swear. Uh, I guess. He said it was a fraction <laughs> larger than that. Or longer than that. Hmm. Everybody exaggerates, but... <laughs> I'm thinking about American Idol. Do, where is um, uh, Catherine McPhee, a blue iris calling Eric the Midget? That's what I was going to tell you. It's on the Gary preview okay, page. Okay. i got to start with that, and then I'll work my way through And then it's this. followed by an angry uh, voicemail from Eric uh, the Midget. You guys will, I haven't even heard this, but the premise is funny. You know what? I, I didn't. It, you'll, you'll enjoy it a lot. All right, where, where, where is it? On the Gary preview page. Gary preview page. Bear with me while I scroll through 50,000 pages. Okay, here we go. So the idea was Eric got a call from Catherine McPhee. Mm-hmm. All right. Hello. Hi, Eric. This is Catherine McPhee. <laughs> no, it's not. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Ooh, Catherine. Oh, Iris, knock it off. Look my pussy like it's a piece of taffy. <laughs> Hello. Who's Blue Iris? This is Catherine McPhee. Tell Stern that this is not funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Catherine McPhee loves to have her pussy licked. Knock it off. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> Who is it? It's Catherine McPhee. Stick your midget tongue in my shit pipe. Oh. <laughs> Knock it off. I know who this is. It's not funny anymore. I want you to put, funny when it began. I want you to put your head inside my <laughs> pussy. You don't want to put my hand in my fist outside your face. Stop calling. Fuck that, midget. I'll just suck on Taylor Hicks. Jesus, what a grumpy munchkin little piece of shit. <laughs> of course, Eric had to call us. He complained. Hello, it's me, Eric. I was calling because of the fact that some, someone keeps prank calling me from the offices with blue iris, <laughs> trying to pass herself off as uh, Catherine McPhee. I'm like, come on. I can tell the difference between... Queen of voices. I'm not like Gary the Retard or Wendy. <laughs> I have the ability to... Wasn't there one where Eric fell for it, though? There was. I remember some crank call that Eric fell oh, for. Oh, yeah. We had somebody call him as, like, Carrie Underwood, didn't we? Right. He fell for and it. And he fell for that one. He's you know, 
people's voices apart. So tell them, whoever it is, to knock it off. It's not funny. It wasn't funny when the first call came in, and it's not funny when the fifth or sixth one came in. It's ridiculous. And Stern's going to hear about it tomorrow. <laughs> Bye from now. Hmm. Hold it. There's a very upset Eric the actor on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> Tough morning for you? Yeah. Mm. Did you get any sleep last night? I voted 4,000 times. <laughs> Not that many. How many times did you vote for Catherine McPhee? 330. <laughs> you know, if you had done 70 more, she what might be the show? winner today. Notice they didn't give the percentages. I think that kid Taylor Hicks won in a landslide. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do uh, they? Do, I thought they never did. Wasn't even close. The no, they do if it's close. Yeah. They, they crow about that. Eric, your your uh, endorsement is mean shit. I think you worked against her, actually. I have a bet, Eric, and tell me the truth. I say you called McPhee after she lost. Nope. You've only called once? Only the w one other time that you said I should call. Oh, you called oh, back. Oh, you did. All right. <laughs> I feel vindicated. <laughs> what did you say when you called back? Just, you know, I went into a little more detail about myself like you said I should. What was the detail? I was... To, you know, just gave details like Howard and Ralph said I should. What did you say, if you can recall? Not really, because... You, you know, know what you said. That was Tuesday afternoon I did that. I can't... And what's happened to you since then? It's so exciting. Yeah, he well, can't. not much. <laughs> so much has happened that he can't remember <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what did you say to her? You know, I just told her a little bit about myself and that... What would you say? You know, that, you know, I'm a little person in a wheelchair and that um, if she wanted to know anything else about me, she could look on MySpace. Boy, did you oh, blow it. Man, we told you not to mention MySpace. That was everything I told you not to say. I told you to tell her that you represent a lot of voters and you represent the midget vote and that you've got over 4,000 people who are all going to be voting for her. And Ralph said, don't mention the chair. Just say, oops, I dropped something. Let me roll over to it. Right. You dumb little fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to say anything about I represent the midget vote because I don't and I don't like Yeah, but I wanted you to lie. I'm trying to get you to get, to get laid. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm also not going to, well, even though I uttered the word twice, now I'm not going to say a word that I don't like. Which is? Well, gee, you're going to goat me into saying it again. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> goad. You're going to goat me. I am, I'm goading you. The M word? <laughs> the word midget. Wow. Uh, hey, Eric. Was what? It, what did you think was the worst moment? Was it Clay Aiken coming out with that, that nerdy dude? That, I thought that was bad, but I also at the same time kind of cracked up at that whole thing. I thought it was pretty funny. Did you like Did you like Clay Aiken's new hairstyle? I thought it looked ridiculous. Uh, Beth said to me he's covering his ears. With his yes, hair. yes. I mean, he never yeah. grew that hair out before, and he did look completely different. I said, yeah. look what they can do in Hollywood. Yeah. They can make this nerd look like he's a sex <laughs> Yeah. Now, did you guys notice something? I know you guys put your attention on Hasselhoff crying, but did you also notice after after the um, winner was announced, they panned into the crowd, and Carrie Underwood had a look on her face like, oh, man, the wrong person won. Is that what that look meant? Eric knows, Robin. Don't don't be a big wise ass. Eric's an expert on this show. Do you ever, hey, Eric, do you ever, like, record the show and rewind it and watch it again? No, not really. I'm trying to download the all the episodes and... Know, watch them so I could maybe go back over and take better notes and stuff like that. What are you going to do with those notes? <laughs> Publish your book. What do you think? There's money in them there, Hills. Uh, uh, what do you mean download? Are you going to download all the episodes and watch them like in one marathon session? I'll try. Yeah. Because when the people do Sounds like a downloads, party. They cut the commercials. So it, oh, I see. So you wouldn't have to have the commercials in there. <laughs> Save you some time. God. 
Jeez, that sounds crazy. What what notes are, are, are you writing down? What do your notes say? Detailed notes. <laughs> well, what I was kind of hoping to do if I get the chance, like last year, to meet the idols, uh, maybe go there with <laughs> the notes and, you know, show them you know, how much big of a fan I am by giving them the notes. Oh, jeez. Number one, give notes to fans. Number two, send dead squirrel to Clay Haven. <laughs> you mean, what you're, what you're implying is you want to meet the idols, take all of your notes, and hand it to the idols? Yeah. Copies of your notes. Right. You mean uh, their individual notes or notes on the whole show? Notes on the whole show. I see. You would just pile, compile one set of notes. And what incredibly insane thought goes through your brain when you come up with that idea? I mean, do you think, what, what do you think would happen if you handed them your notes? That they would sit and read it? Do you think, it? like, Catherine McPhee's going to sit and read this? Well, you know, they got downtime when they're going from city to city. Yeah. And rather than the Da Vinci Code, let me grab Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Why don't you use your computer and build an invincible mini plane so you can fly around in it and and visit the idols? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> There's no better way to, to kill a Saturday afternoon in Appleton, Wisconsin than reading one of your notes, Eric. <laughs> How long is each note on each person? Like, do you go pages? No, no. no. Was it like a paragraph? No, it was just about, you know, a line per person, per contestant. Yeah, like, give us a line. What would a line be? I, I don't know offhand. It's like, what would you write about Catherine McPhee? Like, last night, what did you write about Catherine? Actually, I didn't take any notes at all last night. Why? I was enjoying well, the show. Well, for one thing, I got got um, information ahead of time of who won. How did you do that? Well, because... Oh, you're on the West Coast. Well, no. What happened was I went and looked at my mail on MySpace, and everybody from the East Coast emailed me telling me who won. Right. That's what I'm saying. You're from the West Coast. Yeah. If I was you, every week I would take notes, and then I wouldn't have to go back and watch the whole thing and take notes. <laughs> I'd get it over with. Yeah. Well, he has, only he wants more detailed notes. <laughs> Is it hard taking notes while you're sucking cock? <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, Eric, I know last night was a big uh, trauma to you. I know you voted for McPhee over 360 times, you said? 30. 330 times. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Eric. When will you make the call to uh, tell her how sorry you are? Well... Go with what Gary said, and I'll wait till next week. Oh. Good. All right, smart man. FBI time to track you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big knock on the door. <laughs> okay. Well, what happens for the next six months? Do you go into a deep freeze? No. What will you, what will you do with yourself? What do you turn your attentions to now? <laughs> the Oakland A's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll watch A's and Giants games put <laughs> Next week, last <laughs> standing starts. Oh, last comic standing. You're into that. <laughs> I'll also be watching. Hey, boys, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, it's a big upset for you. I know you are pulling for Catherine McPhee. Uh, let's hope that. Um... You still got the McFever? Yeah. <laughs> I bet Me you too. Do. Wouldn't you like to bury your midget head between those big boobs? Oh. Those boobs did look good last night. They sure did, pal. Now um, you're talking like a man. Now, now we're talking. <laughs> Finally. Boy, that young stuff, man. Let wow. me tell you, Eric, when you when you go in on a, a young girl like that, it's very tight. Wow. Very tight. I, I Even for Eric? You know what I mean, or you don't know what I mean? I disagree with you on two things, though. All right. One, she, <laughs> does, she doesn't need to drop a single ounce, let alone a pound. Oh, bro. You, you, you're just way off on that. Neither does um, Taylor. No. <laughs> Mandisa. Mandisa was in stretch pants last Oh, night. my God. Who's dressing her? 
Carrie Underwood doesn't need to drop no, it. No, not at all. She not dropped anymore. It. She listened no, to me no, and dropped she, away. She never did to me. Oh, no. She had a big fat ass. She looks great now. No, she was sitting. How'd you like to nail that tail? I'd go out with either one of them. Mm. You could fall in love with one of those, huh? He already has. By the way, this summer, my family will take me to the house by the lake and glue me to the ceiling so I can be a human smoke detector. <laughs> <laughs> I like to ride on the fan on the top of the ceiling. <laughs> what was uh, Catherine McPhee's biggest mistake, do you feel? Uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> Getting you to like her. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope our last comic standing's good, because the Giants and A's both suck, dude. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what was McPhee's biggest mistake? I don't know, really. Mm -hmm. I liked her song actually better than Taylor's. Yeah, but wasn't it during the whole contest song selection? I would love if they made Erica Judge yeah. on American Idol. I would, I would watch five times in he a row. He should take Paula's spot. Oh yeah. Oh, he'd be. He no. He should take Randy's spot. <laughs> Our judge, Eric, the midget. I don't know it. <laughs> Eric the judge. <laughs> People say that Simon gives really uh, critical comments. I don't know, you might have run for the money if I was a judge on that, too. I've never heard you be critical. Oh, when when it, I'm watching the first couple of weeks when they're going through all the auditions and there's the really awful people, I'm always thinking of uh, what I would have said if I was at that judge table. You're kidding. I don't think anybody does that. Wow. There you go. Give us an example of your most <laughs> scathing critique. By the way, Eric, uh, this is sad. Eric would have voted more, but his cell phone died. Oh, <laughs> oh is that, that true? Yeah. And and you have to charge your cell phone before American Idol. Isn't that a lesson you've learned? Well, it was almost fully charged by the time I started. Wow. Couldn't you just plug it in and keep going? I did, eventually. <laughs> but I lost valuable voting time. <laughs> At least ten minutes. It could have cost McPhee the entire title. Now, are you guys still going to have her in? You know how off you were, Eric. We just got the results. <laughs> Catherine McPhee had 332 votes. Oh. <laughs> right. Wow. Some guy called us and said your vote only counts once. Oh. They could trace it or something. Didn't your news department... Find that out wasn't true, or find that wasn't true. Yeah, I don't think it is true. I think American Idol really gets off on how many votes they get, and they're happy with every vote. That's right. They don't care yeah, how many yeah. times you vote. I heard the news department called your news department called Fox, and they said that no, that guy wasn't right. All right. Look, yeah, just keep voting, Eric. Yeah, just keep, whether it counts or not. Yeah, just keep going. It gives you something to do. <laughs> Are you guys going to have McPhee in next week? We're going to try. <laughs> Did you vote in the presidential election? Yeah, I right. voted. How many times? <laughs> Gee, Robin, you could only do that once. Duh. Wow. <laughs> Who'd you vote for? Harry. I see. You got a pattern. Carrie Underwood? You're a mush. In the presidential election, you voted for Carrie Underwood? John, <laughs> Carrie Underwood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Democrat. Blake Aiken. I know, I know. John Kerry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm we just know. We got John Kerry Underwood. Please, we. <laughs> Between Bush and Arnold Schwarzenegger, there's no way I'm going back to being a Republican. Yeah. Ooh, who knew? Big uh, loss for the uh, grand old party. All right, Eric. Well, thank you, and I'm sorry about the McPhee upset last night. I knew we wanted to check in with you, and uh, certainly a lot of controversy there. Thank you. Say hi, say hi to the Dixie Chicks. I, the new song that they got out, I think, is pretty good. <laughs> All right, thank you. Did you cry last night when McPhee lost? No. No. All right. No, thank I you. Didn't, I didn't turn David, David Hassel off. What? Will you be going to the Idol um, concert? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Probably going to go over to the uh, Arco Arena box office in the next couple of days and get the tickets. That uh, way you don't have to pay all those extra charges. I see. All right, thanks.
All right, Eric. Thank you. Uh, bye for now. <clears throat> bye for now. Bye for now. New uh, catchphrase, Eric's. <clears throat> I stole that from Tigger. <laughs> In the Winnie of the Pooh books. <laughs> Did you remember when he wasn't going to call in anymore? Now he's back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, call in every day. He was trying to play hardball with us where he would not call in unless we dropped making fun of him and making fun of his voice and stopped calling him Eric the Midget. Or call, making him a member of the WAG Pack. Right. He really doesn't like that. And it didn't work out for him. His negotiations fell apart. <laughs> he didn't get one demand and he's back. <laughs> oh, i got to just talk to Eric the Midget real quick. So tell me what happened. Uh, yesterday you measured your penis for us on the air, and in an exchange for measuring your penis, I gave you Catherine McPhee's cell phone number. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Right. And uh, did you end up using that number? Yes, I called one time, and I left a brief nice message and did not mention you once tell me what the message was i just said that you know that i'm a fan of this show and a fan of hers and last year i got the chance to meet carrie underwood when the idols went on tour and i was mm. hoping this year when the idols go on tour again to be able to meet her and the other idols did you throw in the fact that you're handicapped and you're a midget and you're in a wheelchair? Actually, no, I did not. Yeah, well, that's what you should have done. Uh, but I did give my phone number at the end of the message. Yeah. So he left a message. All right, so you're not going to stalk her with the number? No. All right, good. Was it worth measuring your penis for? Yeah. Yeah. You know, normally he wouldn't do something like that, but this was too good. He had to have that phone number. And he jumped, too. Yeah. I knew I had the right gift yeah. to get that penis measured. A lot of people didn't believe that Eric's got five inches in his pants. They think he lied because they were like, well, how is he aroused? But what you do you were, mean, how is he aroused? Well, like he called us, like, is he really going to hold on to a boner and measure? I don't know, but I, I believe Eric. Eric, when you measured your boner, did you measure it first, like without us on the phone so that you could get a good measurement? Exactly. Yeah, all right. That's what I that's what I wanted to explain. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> and uh you you swear to God that you really are five inches. That was an accurate measurement. Yeah, I what I do is I you know, put it against myself and then put my thumb right where the tip you know, was and then pull the ruler away with my thumb in place and it was right near the five-inch mark. Right. Now, you didn't hurt yourself pressing the ruler down, did you? No. Okay. Did you measure with the ruler on top of your penis or underneath the penis? Underneath. Underneath. That's how I measure. That's how you have to measure. Every guy's going underneath. So you, and, you, and, and you did not measure from your balls. You measured from the beginning of the shaft, the base. Right. All right. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Five inches. Man. That's impressive. Read and weep. A, uh, how tall are you, Eric? Three foot five. Yeah, he's three foot five. Wow. So, I mean, you know. Next time I get another idol's phone number, I'm going to have you measure circumference. <laughs> oh, great. Are you circumcised? Yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> I mean, that's a big, uh, you know, sort of percentage of his total height, five inches. Hello, Miss McPhee. This is Eric, your fan. I control a huge voting block of votes here in the California area. <laughs> and I, and my allegiance, could put you over the top. <laughs> <laughs> Hand over one million dollars. <laughs> I am in league with the Maloof brothers. I have their cell phone number. <laughs> I bet she changes her number now. <laughs> I also know Daphne Zanuga. Hey, Eric. 
you know if you don't hear back from her by today, you're, if that, that little phone number is going to burn a hole in your little hand. You're going to have to call again. Yeah, I know you. You're going to end up calling again. The, the only thing is, if and when she does win, I'll probably give her a congratulations call. It's probably about it. You think that's right? <laughs> If she loses, Eric, will you give her, like, sort of a sympathy call, though, too? I still love you. Eric, I'm going to ask you a favor. Could you, could you not call her till at least next week? Because I spoke to her, or we, we exchanged voicemails, and she doesn't think Fox would want her on, you know, for the finale. But after, if she wins, she's going to come on the show, and I just don't want you screwing that up for us. So I'm going to call her the day after she wins, and you leave her alone. Okay, no problem. All right. Eric's a man of his word. We don't want you screwing that up for us. I'll do that, Gary, for one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what was actually the rest of the message? That, what? what? What was the rest of the message that you guys had? Hey, Gary, what was the rest of Catherine McPhee's message? Yeah, he wants to finish, finish Please whacking don't give it. my number to Eric. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't give, my, don't give that phone number to Eric the Midget. <laughs> yes, Ralph. <clears throat> <clears throat> Eric, you blew it, man. Why didn't you uh, mention you vote like 8,000 times in one night? But I don't. I, the most I've voted is uh, 400. Or more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see the percentage last week? That could put it over the top, man. You got you got you got to sell yourself a little bit. Eric, did you vote 400 times? Um, season three. How many times did you vote last week, and who'd you vote for? I voted only for Catherine, and I really didn't keep track of how many times. About. But what do you do? You get the number and you just sit there and you hit redial over and over? Yeah. Sexy. <laughs> Dude, how many times did you vote, you think? Did you, like, just do that for two hours? <laughs> yeah, I voted for the full two hours. It's, uh... wow. wow. Is that crazy? you got to mention that to her. Yeah, you should have. Maybe you need to call her. Call her back. <laughs> call her back. I forgot to mention <laughs> I am my own block of votes. I mean, she didn't even know that you voted for her over like 400 times. You know, I mean. So as soon as they say the voting is open, you've got the number dialed in, you start hitting. See, Eric, what I'm thinking is if you make that clear to her, she's going to be afraid not to call you back yeah. because she doesn't want to lose your vote. Yeah, before the, the actual right. contest. Yeah, tell her she's got to call you back like tonight, you know. Or I won't vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hold all the cards. You know, the one thing I was thinking is, hopefully for you, though, she doesn't have anyone that she knows that was mysterious showing her to give me her number. Yeah, we're on satellite. Nobody knows what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, Eric, also, somehow you got to work in that you're, uh, uh, you're a midget and you're in a wheelchair, you know? Yeah, like... I told him that. Listen, if you want my votes, you must call. No. <laughs> Eric, don't say you're in a wheelchair. Just kind of like, you know, like say something like, oh, I dropped something. I have to wheel over and pick it up, you know? Mm -hmm. Be casual about it. You should tell her you're an idol maker or an idol breaker. <laughs> and depending on her actions. I'm a power broker. I, I meant to actually say in the message that Eric, give my... MySpace page address to her, but I forgotten after I hung up. Well, yeah, that'll turn her on. Because that MySpace page is pretty groovy. Yeah, there's so many great well, guys on MySpace. Yeah, what, like, 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 what's what's your profile on there? The address to the profile. No, I mean, what's your like? What does it say? Don't you have to write something about yourself? Yeah. What's it say on there? It just um, you know talks about my disability and you know stuff like that and that's fun and also you know the different <laughs> music that i listen to and fascinating but the reason why i wanted to give her the address to it was so she could look through the pictures and see the pictures of myself meeting carrie and also uh the different
cast members of American Dreams and stuff like that. Nah, dude, you're not going to get her with that. <laughs> yeah, She's going to think you're why? creepy. You got to you got to tell her you're with the ETM agency. She doesn't know that stands for Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> ETM Enterprises. ETM Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> don't get on MySpace. You get to sound like a stalker. Right. You want to sound like a cool guy. Like, cool guys don't have MySpace accounts. You know what I mean? Like, you've got so much going on, you don't have time for a MySpace account. You know, Eric, you should have somebody call her back for you and say they're your, your assistant. Nah, I think at this point he's got to just yeah. let the one message lie there, and otherwise it'll look creepy. Yeah. Yeah, but what do you, but you know he's got to call back today because he can he can vote her in. I mean today he's got power. Tomorrow you know he's got nothing. You must have loved having her number though, right? Have you yeah. called it a bunch of times just to hear her answering message and listen to her voice? No, I just called it the one time. Right. All right. There it is, Eric the Midget. There's an update on uh, his phone number and his access to. And will Catherine he be McCree. calling back to to plead his case again? Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Yes. If <laughs> <laughs> he got it wrong the first time. What do you mean, call the show back? Like, I just know this guy's going to start Jones, and if he doesn't hear from Catherine McPhee today, he's going to, I know he's going to make another call. Well, but Ralph makes a good case. He didn't present himself properly. He got, see, did you get nervous? Yeah, a little. I shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> One shot at greatness. Do you want me to give out your MySpace uh, address? Yeah, I guess you could do that. All right. MySpace.com backslash Eric the Actor Lynch. L-Y-N-C-H. How do you spell? L-Y-N-C-H. Well, did you already mail that letter to me? Uh... Yeah, I think so. Okay. You're uh, writing to him? Yeah, I wrote him a fan letter. <laughs> <laughs> there were these American Idol things that, that came in, and I sent them to him. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Well, good luck, Eric, and uh, keep us updated if you get a call back from Catherine McPhee. Don't wait, man. Call her back. Call her one more time. Wait a few hours and then call her. Good luck tonight. You want Ralph to tell you what you should say again, or you know what to do? Oh, how about you give me a little tip? All right, here's the pointers. You ready? Um, your bullet points. Number one, you're, you, you didn't make it clear in your first message that you control a lot of the votes. I mean, you 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 voted over 400 times for Carrie Underwood, and you've been voting heavily for her all along. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to be recognized for all this hard work you're putting in. Oh, in fact, you could say something like, when the voting, when they say that the voting is open, do you want me to vote for Taylor or do you want me to vote for you? Yeah. Give me a call. Say, you know, if you call me, <laughs> you can be assured I'll be voting my little hands off. Do, do, do you think you should say something like he knows he also has a network of a bunch of other losers? Yeah, who will yeah. Vote, they vote. all do what he says. Just say the midget community completely controls that vote. <laughs> But between you say you're the leader of the midget community, and you probably are in touch with over a network of over three thousand midgets who all vote <laughs> five hundred times each. Five hundred times each. You <laughs> you do the math. I control the tiny empire. <laughs> <laughs> that chick will be shitting her pants. She'll call you right She'll back. Be right on the phone. <laughs> Forget rehearsing. Let me get on the phone with Eric. Uh, it's all down to this personality contest. Eh. Well, right, yes, yesterday, you guys commented how nice I was on the phone with you. Yes. Yeah. I would be that way every single solitary call if you would just, you know, accept my three requests. I'm not accepting any of your requests. We don't care whether you're nice or not. Eric, what are the requests? To drop the two nicknames I can't stand. <laughs> Which two are those? I forget. Eric the Midget and Eric the Astronaut. All right. right. We've dropped Eric the Astronaut. Yeah, we like Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there, there's half a request. And okay. yeah, what's your second request? Stop making fun of the voice. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it at home? Just In the words of Vito Corleone, that I cannot do. <laughs> Eric, is it, is it okay if you just like, do it on the phone to each other? 
I mean, I call Ralph, and sometimes my whole message is just like this. I go. <laughs> <laughs> so is it okay if they do it just to each other on the phone? Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all right. You can't hear that. What's the third one? And then, you know, stop poking fun at me. Well, that's I like thought you second. didn't want to be a member of the Wack Pack. Oh, that's that. <laughs> oh, now you got four. <laughs> Jesus. First of all, you got to be in the whack pack. <laughs> You've got a funny voice. You don't know why you're funny. I mean, you fit all the criteria. You look kind of, you know, different. When you look up whack pack, they have a picture of you. <laughs> right. Yeah, but question is this. Okay. <laughs> the guy Steve that was with Tabitha that one time, he's even more disabled than I am, but he's not a whack pack. Yeah, because he's not funny. No, he doesn't have a funny voice and he no. doesn't have that attitude that you have. There's nothing fun about him. Eric the Midget, we speak your, your name. name. We you speak are your a name. Legend. We speak your name. Ah. <laughs> and the youngin spoke. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. But Eric the Dwarf, is that okay? Hey, what about uh, Eric not banging Tabitha Stevens? I got a lot of email about that. Some people respect Eric for not banging Tabitha Stevens. I don't get it. I mean, this is a guy who's never going to get laid in his life. It's like, I want to follow Jeff the Drunk. <laughs> well, no. Jeff the Drunk apparently couldn't do anything, yeah. so you're not. The yeah. bitch didn't lube up. <laughs> what happened there, uh, Jeff? <laughs> she didn't lube up. I was ready. <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> Fucking whore. That was his best appearance ever. Where's uh, uh, Eric the Midget bangs Tabitha Stevens? Oh, don't play it. <laughs> oh, no. I got a preview page in yellow. <laughs> Eric, it all falls under the uh, category of making fun of you. All these things. That's right. Here you are banging Tabitha Stevens, if you had taken her up on it. Hold on. <laughs> I need to start my power chair. Oh, hi, Eric. Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. No foul language. This hey, hey, Eric, you know, I know your whole thing about how you want sex to be special, but time is running out. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much now, any sex would be special. Eric, she's a nice girl, too. She's not like a, you know, she's not like a wacko or anything, you know? She's cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when are you ever going to get laid again with a girl that looks that hot? I don't know. Exactly. I mean, you got to think this shit through. You know, Catherine McPhee is not going to do this. Right. She's I, just, she's I just, wasn't really expecting her to. Yeah, well, but, but don't you want to get laid more than anything in this world? But you got five inches, man. That's pretty respectable for a two-foot person. You realize what she's willing to do? She's going to get naked. She's going to... Probably, like, you'll probably be sitting. She'll prop you up on a bed. You'll pack out your five inches and slam that thing. Like, she'll sit on top of it and, and rock back and forth on you. Oh. Just shoot a big load. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Rang> midget load. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't appeal to you in some <laughs> way? My Da Vinci load. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that doesn't turn you on? And she's got a rocking body. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you're thinking. Are you waiting for love? I mean, love. Love schmuff. I bang lots of chicks I don't love. I bang lots of ugly chicks I don't love. Sometimes a man has needs. The last, last thing you want to do is bang a chick you love. Complicates right. everything. Yeah, that'll interrupt your lifestyle. Then you'll have to bang her again. Oh. <laughs> this is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh bagage. They're man pants. I had them shortened. <laughs> oh, your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been dead ten years ago and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First, I want you to piss on me. Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. In my face. 
with my mouth open. Here I go. <laughs> Oh, oh no, you stupid bitch! You got it on my power! 